Everybody knows that sound. That just puts you in a good mood. Welcome back. Uh, we are so lucky today. We have someone very special in the studio with us. We have Pat Mann Phillips, and she is the first chairman for the Houston Livestock Show and Rodeo in its 91-year history. Pat, thank you so much for joining us yeah, it's here. It's a pleasure to be here, Brittany. Yeah, so exciting, and this has got to mean a lot to you. Can you tell us about that? Oh, yeah. Well, it's, it's just such a an honor and a great privilege to serve the rodeo in any role, but mm -hmm. as chairman of the board, it's it's truly exciting. I never would have imagined 20 years ago when I started this show as a rookie committeeman on tours that I would be in this position, but it just shows anything can happen to anyone mm -hmm. if you love the show and are committed to its mission. Well, I can tell, and we know you've got a big background here, a big connection to the rodeo. Tell us a little bit about that and how that sort of evolved for you. Oh, yeah. I, I grew up in 4-H. I grew up in a small town in uh, Johnson County, uh, Texas, and my uh, folks had a agricultural business enterprise. So my brothers and sisters and I all grew up in the agricultural mm -hmm. world. We showed animals. We had uh, cattle pigs, horses, anything with four legs, mm -hmm. we would put a halter on it and show it. <laughs> so we really enjoyed it and that's that's been part of my background and, and uh, heritage for as long as I can remember. And it's good to be full full circle here in yeah. Houston after 20 years and I can get back to my roots in agriculture by being a part of the rodeo. Absolutely, it's a fabric of who you are it sounds like mm -hmm. and um, we all have our favorite bits of the rodeo, things that we just love. What is it for you that, that you uh -huh. enjoy? The people, the volunteers, yeah. uh, the visitors that come out, the families, it's its all about the people. The, the volunteers, we have over 35,000 mm -hmm. 35, volunteers who support the show and, and they're amazing. They're truly the heartbeat of the show and just that good positive energy you get out there and bringing in the families yes. and we all love to host these families and see the smiles on the faces. Absolutely. You talk about that good energy. We all know what that means when, when we get to go out there and do that. And uh, you have a, certainly a very large job, a very big hand in all of this. Tell us about some of your plans or your hopes, I guess, moving yeah. forward. Well, you know, the main thing is I, I want to hold fast to our mission. That's so important to what we do at the show and uh, build on this great foundation and reputation uh, that was established by the leaders before me, but I, I really want to see the Houston Livestock Show and Rodeo grow and be a magnet to Houston and bring in people from all over the world to experience this great offering and the value of a family-friendly, fun, mm -hmm. entertainment, educational destination. Make it a bucket list item. Absolutely. Awesome. Well, Pat Man Phillips, thank you so much for, for stopping by today. It was an honor to get to chat with you here. 